Uh, Shalom, I want to say a few words on uh, colon health, uh, gut health, um, having a, uh, a balanced microbiome, uh, balanced uh, flora. Look those words up. I'm not going to explain everything to you. Anyway, um, I just want to show you a few products that I use uh, to help with the gut. I'm going to say a few words on uh, a keto diet. And uh, what is key, something that's keto friendly? Something that puts you into a state of ketosis. Look those words. I'm not going to explain it. Look it up. Go to Google. Put these words in. I may come back and do another video, but I, I don't have to explain everything. You brothers have to read, and some of you sisters have the mind of a researcher. You got to think like, in order for you to come in this truth, you got to have the mind of a researcher. Don't just come to me with the hawk. Oh, can you say, tell me what this means? And can you tell me? You know what you do? Look it up for yourself. See if you, if you can find it. And then if you find it, you might confirm it. Oh, I went through this. What's your thoughts on this? I just want to get it confirmed with yourself. You, you can do that. But a lot of you people are lazy. Kabbalah says boss says that all the time. A lot of you guys are, are lazy. Oh, what is this guy? Tommy Soda, my all. He said, look it up, nigga. Anyway, I want to say a few words about these products right here, which is for the gut. You, Jake eats, when you go to the hood, you know you're in the hood when you go, when you see, you see a couple of funeral homes, you see a bunch of churches, all denominations of churches, black churches. Um, you see... McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, um, which is all garbage. It's all poison. You see, uh, you see like a Mama's Fried Chicken, Texas Fried. If it's in New York, it's Texas Fried Chicken. If it's in Texas, it's New York Fried Chicken or whatever. And that's what Jake. When Jake goes out to eat, they eat junk. When they go to these supermarkets, they eat junk. They give, they give their kids. The reason why, one of the reasons why your kids, your, your sons, and even your daughters be blasting people because of all that garbage, that, you, that helps, man. Your, your, your um, Deacon of Carl likes this term. He uses it quite a bit. I believe he got it from me. I could be wrong. He'll say, your, he recently started saying this, your, your, your uh, pineal gland is calcified. Look that up. Go to cola is good for that. Go to cola. That's a, um, a supplement and uh, what's the other thing? There's about five things you can use for that to, de to decalcify your pineal gland, which opens up your, your mind to the spiritual realm. Now, if you got a calcified, you know, pineal gland, the most I want to give you a message, a dream will give it to you. But it opens up, it makes it clearer. It's like you have a T, like before we had HD. You had regular TV, which was clear enough, but HD is a lot even even clearer. And that's and and in your mind is like almost like a TV. And the messages from the spiritual realm, the dream world, come in through the pineal gland. Look it up. Look, go to Google. It'll tell you that that that's part of your that's your, they call it the third eye. You know? Like I said, I'm not gonna go all into this. A lot of these terms that I use. Look them up and you get the information. <coughs> anyway, I'm dealing with the gut, the microbiome, which there's trillions of uh, bacteria, both bad and good. And when there's a, a out of balance, the bad takes over the good. You get, now look at my tongue. I don't know how well it camera's going to pick it up, but I was in the bathroom, and you see the all mocking tongue, Jim Carrey, the all mocking tongue, had to play around, and you see that, I don't know if it looks white, <coughs> but it shouldn't look white, but I checked in the bathroom, It's like a pink, bazooka bubble gum, bubble, bubble gum pink. That's a gum that we used to chew. 
Now, if it's a white coat on it, a light white coat, a thick white coat, sometimes you get there in the mornings, you know, you do, you do your oral thing, you brush your teeth, whatever, get a, get a tongue scraper, that's a couple dollars at any health store or pharmacist, you know, brush your, to your teeth, and I use like a, I make up my own tooth, toothpaste and, and uh, sometimes you get like a high-end tooth, toothpaste, Tom's of Maine is one of them, then they have others. But anyway, um, if you have the little white stuff, you, you do your oral thing, it should go away. If it's still there through the day, your microbiome is not in balance. Your flora is not in balance. Your gut is all messed up. You got a lot of problems. I had a bad situation last week where my gut was acting up and it came all up out of here. But what I found out, and it was the Apostle God, uh, Gabar that told me about it, was kefir. Kefir is a health drink, but it didn't help me. And I was taking this for the longest. I stopped taking The Apostle Gabar said, because he was taking it. And I believe I told him to take it. It's, uh, it has uh, a thing called, um, I don't have my glasses. Oh, I do have my glasses. Wait a minute. Let me try to move fast here. Give me a second. Okay, in the back it says 20 to 30 billion CFUs. CFUs stand for uh, colony forming units, living ent uh, entities in your body which are known as bacteria. Bad bacteria, good bacteria. When you go to the hospital, you're sick, what do they do? So I showed you this. I don't drink this anymore. I don't drink this kefir. Even though it has good bacteria of it, but the, the lact, lactose in the milk <coughs> and, the, and the fat, some people it helps, others it don't. It didn't help me, man. And I was drinking this for the longest. I, my, my stomach was all fucked up. Positive boss said, stop drinking that and you should be okay. And sure enough, it went out, but it was still in my system. So it takes a while to fully get out of your system. But the next day I didn't have the cramping and the bloating. You know, something going on in there. But it's a, it's a, it's a balance. <clears throat> you can't have all good bacteria. You can't have all bad bacteria. You have to have a balance. You, 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 have, you messed up when you got more bad bacteria than good bacteria. When you go to the hospital, what they do, they give you antibiotics to get rid of the bad bacteria. But at the same time, it's killing the good bacteria. What these doctors are supposed, these quacks are supposed to do is give you probiotics. This is probiotics. 100 billion in each, in each, uh, each, um, whatchamacallit, we each tablet. Oh, you have this, and this was given, given to me by the beloved brother, uh, Elder Bishop, uh, I now, Cause we were talking about it, we were talking about it, and he went ahead and got it, right? So I cursed him out, I said, you got it, man, you didn't let me know. And we got joking with him, and, he, and I said, look, man, give me, give me some of that too. He, he, bro he broke it down to me, he said it works, and there's reviews on there. Some people say it don't work, some people say it do work. You know, the guy that comes on the jake, the, 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 the Edomite looking guy with the beard and the long hair, the hippie looking guy, he does these commercials, and one of the projects is Zupu. And you really don't need it. You can use other. This is this basically. This is a colon cleanse. This makes you go to the bathroom more, which I go to the bathroom regular because I do a lot. Of, I do. I, I take in a lot of fiber. But I said, let me try this, and guess what? It makes you go to the bathroom even more, and you can control it. You got to be regular. That's what that term means: being regular, going to the bathroom, doing the number two. You know, if you if 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 you eat three meals a day. And you and you go and you go and do a number two once every three or four days. That's a problem. You're backed up. That's why Jake got so many diseases because your you, your blood flowing right. Your 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 pineal gland is all messed up. You know, that's why you want to shoot everybody and you know, you know Jake violence with Jake is because mainly because of their diet, man. 
do you know, my dear boy, inside joke, do you know that <clears throat> you have kids that are that mainly so-called black males with with uh, with uh, the that problem with the you know the aut autistic. That's from the, them, them doctors, man. They inject them with certain things that messes up their brains, messes up their whole spirit. See these these jakes out there, these gangbangers and these dri drive-by shooters and these niggas that are, you look at them the wrong way, they, they will blow your ass away. They got demons in them, man. Demons occupy their pineal gland, and also topped it off with a diet, with a terrible diet, a, a terrible diet, man, and drugs and whatever, you know? But um, you got to get regular. And, and so I, I give my approval. It worked for me. Try it yourself. It may work for you. The Zupu. So if you want to know what I think about the Zupu, you really don't need it, but it is, it is a help. You got to get a lot of fiber in you. What is fiber? Look, look up the word fiber. Any fruits, vegetables, apples, fiber. Nuts, fiber. Now there's certain nuts that, um, let me put this back. There's certain nuts that uh, uh, can become mold. You can get mold in your body from certain nuts. Walnuts are very healthy. Chock full of uh, uh, omega-3s, but at the same time, it could be toxic, so toxic to you. Walnuts, macadamia nuts, cashews, just to name three. Peanuts, oh, peanuts. You got to be careful with the peanuts. That's a lot of that is turns into mold, and it goes into your system. When I get up in the morning, I don't do this every morning, but maybe five days out of the week, I start my day with a tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons worth. I eyeball it, I pour it, and I put the rest with uh, spring water, the essential ninety-five, and I. I might get maybe 10 ounces out of it, 12 ounces. I might drink half of it or the whole thing. Uh, this, is, this, is, this right here is uh, pure acid because acid kills those parasites in you. Apple cider, uh, apple cider vinegar with the mother. There's, uh, the, there's a brand called Ber uh, Berg's, I think it's called. I couldn't find it, so I went to this supermarket and they had and it, it's the same shit see on the bottom you got the this uh, fiber in the bottom that's the mother you shake it up shake it up so now this right here I just recently started doing this and prior to this my tongue was white it says in the echo you gut this you gut gut meaning the gut the center of your stomach where 80% of your immune system what makes you heal is within what's in your gut you got gut health you you won't get sick anyway each sip of this I take it by sips is 100 billion CFUs what are CFUs colony forming units which are good bacteria to bring your, 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 your gut back, back in the balance. Balance microbiome. All right? So now, now this, I introduced this to Apostle uh, Gabar and Apostle, uh, Apostle uh, Ryan Lob, and he said he started taking it because he heard, I didn't, I didn't know he was going to get it, but he wound up taking it. And he said, he said he, he, he drunk a whole one of these inside of two days. You know how many, you know how many uh, CFUs is in, in this bottle? There's three trillion, with the T, three trillion, three trillion CFUs in that bad boy. 
So I said, well, let me do that too. I don't go as crazy. But I said, you went crazy. But how do you feel? I said, no, I feel good. I feel a lot better. Because he has a problem with his bowels, man. Um, but anyway, oh, another thing that I drink is uh, GT's uh, raw kombucha. But now check this out. It's nine billion. And I thought nine billion, oh, that's a lot. No, nine billion is nothing. They got pills from this country, from this company. They got certain pills that each pill has 400 billion, 400 billion CFUs in it. So stop eating the, the, the nigga fried chicken. Don't go to McDonald's. That's nothing but poison. I mean, there's, there was two incidences of people shooting, killing other motherfuckers. One in New York and I believe one in Atlanta over cold fries. It's not the fries that's making them go crazy. It's the McDonald's itself. That's nothing but poison in there, man. You ain't gonna see. You ain't gonna see the Rothschilds go to no, go to no goddamn McDonald's. Oh, I got a taste from McDonald's. And after you eat it, or KFC, which is not even real chicken, you know. Look up meat glue. A lot of times you get a steak. A steak is made with meat glue. I don't give a damn about this. This 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 place that you call America, the Great Mosaic, is nothing but a Hollywood um, studio where you have make a western and you got a the town. And when you look behind it, there's nothing there. That's what this. That's the. That's what this place places. This this place. Th that's why this is called scripturally. It's called. Sodom in Egypt or Babylon, something that Vocab Malone doesn't know, all right? But anyway, you drink this. I took a couple of sips. You're really supposed to take a sip once a day, but I, I drink this through the, through the day, man, and then I'll take one of these. The ones I got now, I couldn't get these. They got to restock these 100 uh, billion uh, CFUs. I got one with 50 billion, so I take two of them, all right? And, you, and your white, the white tongue will turn pink. Anyway, with that, the, the Illuminati's all mocking tongue. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.